Today's news, Top Dog's Hansel comes out as asexual. You ready? Hey all you guys who are always asking if you can buy this painting. Signed prints are being given away at twitch.tv slash hollyback right now. And there are more than one print that you can win. Look at this one right here. These things are super cool and she signs them and she gives away more than one print on a K-pop stream. So if you're interested, right up here, top, top. Right hand corner, link in the top description box to join the K-pop party and follow stuff on Twitch. Fly away. In the ever changing world of K-pop, another bit of information has come out that we sort of weren't expecting. I feel like most people weren't expecting. There's a video on YouTube of Han Sol from the K-pop group Top Dog talking about his sexuality and explaining that he's asexual. The video of him talking is about 30 seconds long and I just want to translate it to English. He's speaking in Korean talking about this revelation. I have been thinking a lot. I'm asexual, asexual. I don't like anyone, I just like myself, I'll probably never get married, giggles, I just like my friends and family. And that's it, that's all he said. I believe that it was initially put out first on Instagram Live because that has become a new, very popular app service for different idols to use. And he stated that he likes comics, which, you know, there's a lot of people that like comics and I just think that this is, first off, bravo, bravo. They're very bold and courageous, I think, to make this sort of announcement. I mean, I don't know. K-pop idols in general are trained not to talk a lot. Uh-huh, and to not talk about sexuality is one thing that is first and foremost in K-pop. But things are changing, and this is one of those things, like I said in the beginning, we weren't expecting, and I think a lot of people's reading through comments are super pleased. Some people saying that they are also asexual and now they can identify or see some sort of similarity between them and Han Sol. That's nice to see. It is very nice to see. And there has got to be not only him, but other K-pop stars out there that are asexual because it is something that exists, but it hasn't always been known about and it hasn't been talked about and it until recently, until Hansel coming out and saying it, I think he's the first K-pop idol to ever say that he's asexual and I think that is huge. Compared with nowadays where you can go on the internet and if you're feeling something, you can Google search it and try and find groups or other communities that also feel similarly to you or to someone who's doing the search. We didn't have the internet during my generation and I feel like there were less options for people. There was just less information out there. So for instance, when I found out Han So was asexual, asexual is not something that is at the forefront of my mind. Like I have superior knowledge of asexuality and had to go on and watch some YouTube videos of people coming out as asexual, just explaining what asexual was. Can you explain asexual please? <laughs> Well, before I go into what asexual is, I can explain why there is that disparity. And that was because it's still so new to public discourse. It wasn't until 1994 that it appeared in public discourse when the wow. AIDS pandemic was going on. They did a survey in the UK and 1.5% of the surveyed population claimed that they never felt sexually attracted to anyone at all. And this shocked people. They were surprised by this statistic and they started researching it. And really, it wasn't until the 2000s, like 2004, and even until 2013, that people have really started to delve in and try to figure out what is this. As of 2004, they were still trying to research. 2013, they were researching, should this be classified as a mental illness? Is this okay? even as of 2013. So the fact that, you know, he is coming out and he is saying, I am asexual and people are able to go and say, you know what, I am too. Like that is, uh, it just makes me so happy. 1994 was the year I graduated high school, which meant I went through my entire years of public school without ever hearing the term asexuality. I never heard asexuality as a child ever. So it's not something that you automatically know what it is when you hear it. Instinctively, it seems like everybody wants to have sex, but actually that's not true. 1.5%, I mean, we and it's know. it's greater than that. Okay. That's, that's what further research proved was that that was just such a small survey. It's, it's greater, more than 1% of people 
are asexual out there and it there are asexual people that are married there are asexual people who have children it's just a they have no sexual feelings of attraction for anyone of the opposite sex they they don't want to have sex with them it doesn't mean that they d won't have sex with them it doesn't mean that there aren't times that it's okay but they just don't feel that sexual attraction and desire to have sex yeah there's a lot of things to talk about here the one guy i was watching talking about his coming out asexual on youtube he still masturbates like i was wondering that afterwards like he doesn't want to have sex with anyone but he wants to do that occasionally i mean it's not really that important but i just think any information that you can talk about because we're just talking here so i want to know as much as i can and then there was a girl on there i mean she's really pretty at least i could see how some people would think she was pretty she's not attract she's aromantic also which is a separate category from asexual so she doesn't want a relationship and she doesn't want sex so that's for her to explain because there's so much along the spectrum of what asexuality is him just making this little oh i'm asexual I only like my friends and family. Like that can be very confusing. Yeah, it's it's just opening up a box of who knows exactly what he does, what he thinks, how he feels about a lot of things. All we know is that he loves his family and friends. He never plans on getting married. Most likely. And he enjoys comic books. And furthermore, this puts Top Dog a bump up. I mean, more people are going to put their eyes and take a look at Top Dog now because he's like, oh yeah, by the way, I'm asexual. Be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't even know what asexual is, but there's a lot of people who know what it is at this point. I mean, people who are in their teens, which are a good handful of you, no asexuality, are very familiar with it. You probably know somebody, you've definitely seen YouTube videos about it. You put somebody who's in their 30s or in their 40s or even older than that, because there are people who are that old who like K-pop also, don't know or aren't nearly as familiar with it. And so this video was very important for us. We spent a lot of time before, no, cause I was very nervous actually. Mm. Well, I also wanted to make this video because I feel that K-pop has this sort of asexual vibe overall in that it's very sexual, but nobody ever has sex is kind of this, <laughs> what they put out there. But really it's not asexual, but the fact that there are some people in K-pop that do embrace other, other spectrums of relationships and sexuality I find really refreshing and to be honest just really encouraging comments you guys let us know what you think about Hansel coming out with this courageous statement that he's a he's the first one it's such a good thing hearing from Hansel especially because one of the last things that I heard from him was back in June where he said he was really struggling with depression and feeling suicidal and I think that this may be a step of growth for him of self-healing and a step of growth for top dog this might have been the root for his depression he was able to come out of it by realizing this and he decided he wanted to let everybody know and i wonder if he needed to get the permission of his entertainment company hmm. i mean it's just another one of those like long, long conversations that we don't know the answer to but comments you guys let us know what you think and what your reaction to this was click the like button thank you for supporting us click the bell for notifications on more videos check out the link to kgal and don't forget to subscribe for more hollywood back news that's it we're out of here hasta luego bye